we get a lot of emails about COVID and the different treatments out there like this one from Ann. So she emailed asking since you've been reporting the hospitals in Oregon becoming full of COVID patients, what is the status on using monoclonal antibodies? It's a great question and one that we've heard before. So the status is yes, some hospitals are using this treatment. Now this is not preventative. Doctors say you should still get vaccinated, but this is a hopeful treatment if you do get COVID. First, you may be wondering what monoclonal antibodies are. For the answer, we turn to Dr. Morgan Hockey, interim head of the Division of Infectious Diseases at OHSU and the vice chair for clinical programs for the Department of Medicine. So your body's immune system makes antibodies in response to an infection and those antibodies help clear the infection. These are antibodies that are made in a lab um, and are given to people. Um, to help their immune system fight the infection. Dr. Hockey said the antibodies work by attaching to the virus and preventing the virus from infecting cells. The treatment has been given emergency use authorization by the FDA. It's not preventative or a substitution for the vaccine. Dr. Hockey said getting antibodies only works if you get COVID or if you're immunocompromised and exposed to COVID. The whole point of the treatment is to keep you out of the hospital. It does appear that this treatment uh, does what it's supposed to do, which is keep people from getting uh, so sick that they need to go to the emergency room or the hospital. OHSU has treated more than 120 COVID patients with monoclonal antibodies. The majority of the treatments were given during the last six weeks during the surge of cases from Delta. Under the FDA emergency use authorization rules, the treatment is reserved for high risk patients. The treatment is given through an IV administered by a nurse. However, since June, the treatment can be given subcutaneously or as an injection under the skin. That means more hospital systems and clinics may be able to offer the treatment because you don't need a nurse to administer it. Dr. Shimi Sharif is a senior health advisor with the Oregon Health Authority. So what we're hoping is that this type of formulation specifically will actually make it more possible for more types of settings to start ordering and administering product just because it doesn't require nurses who are in shorter and shorter supply, especially as the surge uh, moves on. The OHA said at least 30 hospitals in Oregon are giving the antibodies to patients, but again, they want more hospitals to use it. Salem Health was the first hospital in Oregon to offer the treatment in December of 2020 to high-risk patients over 12. They've done more than 400 infusions and found 70 percent of those patients did not need to go to the hospital, similar to data in clinical trials. Legacy Health just started a pilot program where COVID patients drive up and get the monoclonal antibody treatment as an injection. So we're doing it outside in, with patients in their cars so they can be observed safely and not pose any risk to staff or each other or other people around them because they have known COVID. Kaiser Permanente is offering the monoclonal antibody treatment to high-risk patients like those going through chemotherapy. Providence and Peace Health Southwest both plan to offer the treatment to patients as soon as this week. Other facilities are getting the treatments too. So it is actually very available to order and it actually the federal government is currently sitting on a surplus so there's no limitations on the number of doses that you can order uh, as well as the uh, number of times that you can order as well ongoing. Again, this treatment cannot prevent COVID like the vaccine, but it may prevent a trip to the hospital. Let's get it out there to as many people as we can and, and just try and uh, help uh, the crush of people that, that we're seeing in the hospital right now. It's not just hospitals doing the treatment. We found this map from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It shows nearly 50 hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies in Oregon have received shipments of the monoclonal antibody treatments. But again, each facility has different rules or criteria for getting it. So you do have to call those places and you can find the map on our website right now. If you have a question about this treatment, about the vaccine, about anything, just let us know. All you have to do is email us kgwvaccineteam at kgw.com. Com.